is not able to catch the live call, they can watch the recording. I'm really excited that we have so many new people on here tonight. And what we're going to be doing tonight is basically a getting started right call. So maybe you had one with your coach already, maybe not. But this is something that you can also use as a resource to share with your new coaches. So when you sign up coaches and you start growing your teams, you don't have to not like you don't have to have a fear of signing up coaches and growing your teams because you know you have this recorded call that you can share with them as they're getting started right call. And then you can hop on like a FaceTime or whatever and do a follow up call with them and answer any specific questions they have. Um, so essentially what we're going to do tonight, like I said, is just basically what you would do with a new coach and whether you're brand new um, or maybe you've been around for a while and you're looking to restart your business or maybe you're struggling with getting your business started. This will be a great call for you. And if you're on here as a leader, it'll be a great call for you too, because it'll show you how to train your new coaches. So I'm going to start here and all of the documents that I'm going to be showing tonight are all available to you. They're in our team's Google drive. They're in our team page. They're in our Start Strong group. Like there's these things are available to you no matter um, who your coach is. So these are resources that maybe you haven't seen them yet. Maybe they are familiar to you, but either way, like you will have these things that have been created for you. So the first thing I want to start with is the idea that this business is like going up an escalator going down. Um, because what I found over the past five years, I've been a coach for five years now, is that there will be times in your business where you are like, everything's going so well for you. And there will be months where you feel like, wow, what the heck's going on? Like nobody wants to sign up this month, but you have to keep moving forward and you have to keep pushing forward no matter what. Um, because that moment that you decide to take a break or stop or, oh, well, I'm not going to do my invites because nobody's answering me anyway. The, the minute you get into that bad habit, you are going to get pushed all the way down the escalator. So imagine like you're running up an escalator. It's going down. I don't know if you've ever done that in real life. Maybe you've done that in the mall when you were in high school or something for fun. Um, but it, it takes a lot of momentum to get going up that escalator. But once you get to the top, you know, you're on a flat surface and you can run. And this is the business where you're going to be running on that escalator, especially in the beginning. Um, I wouldn't say that you get to run on a flat surface until you even hit like two star in this business, because this business, like, it's not like you get to a leadership position and then you're like sitting pretty and like, you just make money. Like you still have to show up and you still have to work, but the kind of work that you're doing is a little bit different. Um, but this definitely is something, especially in the beginning, if you want to get off the ground, if you want to get to that top level, you do need to put in the work. You do need to hustle. You will need to make sacrifices. Um, I know every leader on this team has made sacrifices for their business and that's why they are where they are. So just putting that out there. Um, also, I do want to let you know, your coach cannot build your business for you. Your lack of success is not your coach's fault. Everything that you have in your business is a result of what you are doing. Um, and like you have all these resources, so it's not a lack of resources. If someone is not succeeding in this business, it has everything to do with a lack of resourcefulness and not utilizing the resources that are given to them and not putting them into practice and not actually being consistent with it. So I just want to put that out there. I'm not saying it to be mean. I'm saying it to be real. I mean, you know, these people that you're looking up to didn't get where we are because we just signed up and our coach did everything for us. We are working hard every single day to move our businesses forward. Even though, you know, I've been around for five years, I'm still showing up every day and doing all of the work and you will have the same kind of success that you see these other coaches having if you have that mindset from the beginning um, and don't think that, you know, it's just something that happens for you. So on a lighter note, I want to make sure that everybody understands that this is your business and this is something that you have the control and you have the power to create whatever it is you want in your life. You know, anything that you want in your life is just, you have to dream it first, and then you got to work for it and then it will be yours. And this business is a blessing because it really allows you to dream big and set those goals that maybe you never have even had the chance to sit down and think of. Um, I remember when I started this business, I had said things like, Oh, you know, I want to move to Florida. I want to have my own place. Um, you know, I'd like to be a dog mom. I'd like to retire from teaching. I'd like to do this full time. I said all of those things and like all of those things right now are my life. 
So what's really important about this business is that you not only dream big, but as you start checking those goals off, because you will, you continue to dream big and you don't just set a goal because like if, you, if I just set a goal, like I want to move to Florida and you know, I want to be a full-time coach and I didn't set any more goals after that, you know, I got to that goal and then, you know, what do I have to work towards? So in this business, you will always be setting goals. You will always be, you know, dreaming big. Um, I know that there are some coaches on this team who are using this to pay for their wedding. There are some coaches on this team who are paying off student loan debt. You know, you really want to think about what would your life look like if you had all the time, all the money, all the freedom, like in the world, if your life was perfect, what would it look like? And I want you to think about it now, but I also want you to sit down and take the time to write it out because there's so much power in putting pen to paper. Um, and just like thinking about it is great, but it really is such a game changer when you put pen to paper. And if you want to even go as far as making a screensaver for your phone, I don't know if you can see mine, but I have, I don't know not really working but I have like a vision board on the background of my phone of like all of my goals that I'm working towards in my business in my life um, and just some motivational things to keep me going every day so once you have that and you know what that is that is going to keep you in this business having a strong why is going to make you do your invites when you don't want to it's going to make you wake up in the morning and push play on your workout when you don't feel like it it's going to make you clean out your inbox of 100 plus messages when you would rather watch The Bachelor. Like you are going to find the reason why you're doing it and the stronger your reason is and the deeper you are attached to your why and the more it involves, you know, not just you but your family and everyone. Like this business cannot just it's not only going to bless you, it's going to bless your family and everyone that comes in contact with you. The deeper and stronger it is, the more likely you are to stay consistent with these little boring day-to-day -day things that you have to do to get there because it'll make it all worth it when you get there and you can and you can turn around and look back and say wow you know all that time I spent listening to personal development in the car during my two-hour commutes to work all that time I spent you know doing my invites during my lunch break all those times I spent not watching tv and working my business and not going out with friends to the bar and helping other people and working my business all of those things I sacrificed four years ago, five years ago, all of that is worth it now. And I want all of you to be able to do that. And the first commitment you need to make to yourself is to be here a year from now. Be here a year from now, not just being here, but be here a year from now better than you are now. Show up every single day in your business and be consistent for a year and see where you are a year from now. That is a challenge that I challenge every single one of you to do. Give yourself a solid year and not just a year of being a coach, but a year of being a consistent coach showing up in their business every day because th those are two different things being a coach for a year just like physically being signed up and being a coach who is showing up daily in their business consistently every year those businesses will look completely different so be that coach showing up consistently for a year and you will surprise yourself at how far you will be a year from now um, and with that you know something i have learned over the past five years in this business if you want to grow and you have these big goals you have to grow yourself you have to level yourself up. You have to do things like personal development. You need to do things like leadership development. You need to read books and listen to podcasts and listen to audios. Like it makes a difference more than you would ever imagine. So if you ever feel like you're stuck in your business, have a really like have a come to Jesus with yourself and say, okay, where do I need to level up? Am I doing personal development? Am I doing the right kind of personal development? Am I working on my mindset? Am I working on my you know, my mental health, because that leveling up in your head, like for in order for you to actually physically level up in your business, you first have to make that decision in your head that you're going to do it and that you can do it. And you have to have that belief. And if you're not feeding your mind every day with personal development, it's going to make it really hard for you to continue to level up year after year after year. So that's a little side piece note for personal development. Make sure you're doing that. Um, because it is super, super important that you are, and it's really easy to tell what coaches are not doing it. Um, just by the way that they are either not moving their business forward, the way that they're reacting to things, the way that little things bother them. Like it's really easy to tell who's not doing the personal development. So if you ever go to your coach and you're like, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. If you're, if I'm your coach, the first thing I will ask you is what are you reading for personal development? And it's usually, oh, I'm not doing that. So <laughs> make sure you're doing that. Um, so something that I want you guys to do is once you have your you know, you know why you want, why you're here. 
you have your goals, if you haven't done this already, I would love for you to introduce yourself in the team page and share your why with your team. Share your reasons for being a coach. Share what you're the most excited about. Not only putting it on paper is important, but speaking it out into the universe is so important as well too. Because the things you put out, you know, the universe hears you. And if you are wanting to attract these things into your life, you have to be able to even like say them. You have to say like, I'm a diamond coach before you believe that you are. If you can't say it, then how are you going to believe that you can be it? So you do need to put these things out there and you're going to be putting them out into the most loving community ever of people that are there to support you and want to see you succeed. So you have zero fear, should be zero fear around it. Um, but I know that speaking on a video at first can be super scary, but that's why we're making you do it. We're making you push yourself outside of your comfort zone right away, going live in the team page and talking on a video. That's also going to help you when it comes to talking on your stories and talking on Facebook live or hosting a team call. These are things that eventually you'll be doing and getting that fear right out of the way in the beginning is super important. So that's why we're pushing you to do that. Um, we're not trying to be mean. We're, we just really want to help you grow. And the only way you're going to grow, you know, comfort zones are nice, but nothing grows in them. You need to step outside of that in order to grow. Um, and then once you've done that, you also will be posting on your Instagram and your Facebook. You'll be letting people know that you are, you know, part of this community. It's something we like to call an open shop post. Um, but we want it to be a curiosity post. So we don't want you to say like, Hey, everyone who follows me, you know, just letting you know, I'm a beach ready coach now. And like, I have Shakeology. And if you want to do the 21 day fix with me, let me know. Like, that's not what it's going to be. It's going to be something that's a little bit more, you know, heart centered and something that kind of shares a little bit of your story and why something that's going to connect with people who are, you know, out there waiting for you to help them. People who need to hear your story. It doesn't need to be a novel, um, but it does need to be something that is relatable and just letting people know what you're doing, being kind and inviting them to step into your community or letting them know that they can reach out to you, you know, letting them know that you're going to be starting this journey and you want people to come along with you or letting them even know that you're going to be starting this journey. So they better be following you because you're going to be changing over the next 30 days. And they're going to be wanting to know more. They're going to be curious. They're going to be watching your post because you said like, Hey, in 30 days, I'm going to have a transformation. You know, they're going to want to see that they're going to want to follow that journey. So just kind of putting it out there, creating curiosity around it. And that's what that post is going to be. So those are two things. And if you're like, Oh my God, I'm trying to take notes of like what I need to do. Don't worry. Cause I have a checklist for you at the end that has all of it already listed out. Um, we did the homework for you already, but if you are someone who does like to take notes, I, I do encourage that. Don't feel like you can't, but don't freak out if you're driving and try to like take notes on your hand or something. Um, I have, I have a checklist for you at the end. So you're good. Um, Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is inviting, and this is something that's very important in this business. Inviting is why everyone is here. Like, all of you are here because you've all been invited. Nobody just showed up here, like, by magic. Everyone was invited to be here, and that's why you're here. So if you were not invited by your coach, or, you know, if your coach's coach was never invited and so on and so forth. If I was never invited, none of y'all would be here. So like, this is something that's super important. And it also is sometimes the thing that we tend to put a lot of fear on as well. Um, because when you're inviting someone, you're, you're being vulnerable. You're opening yourself up to another person. Um, but I really encourage you to kind of take the emotion out of it and just really look at it as you're just, you know, handing out, a business card or you're, you're giving someone a golden ticket to change their life. Like that's something that feels good to do. And some people will accept it and some people won't, you know, some people will turn you down. Some people will say no. I mean, people will say no, just in case you think everyone's going to say yes, they're not. Um, some people will say no 15 times before they tell you yes. Some people will, you know, ignore you. It happens. It still happens to me. And just because I've been doing this for five years, it doesn't make a difference. I still get ignored. I still get no. Um, I still get not now, maybe later, or occasionally I'll get someone that like flat out says, no, I'm never going to be interested in this. And then I take them off my list, but that's very rare. So when you get a no, just know that you are getting that much closer to a yes. And a lot of times when people say no, it just means that they don't really know, like K-N-O-W, no. 
um, what it is that you are offering them. So they're saying no out of like a fear of not really knowing what you're talking about, or they're saying no because they're unsure. They're not saying no because they're not interested because what you'll see is they'll continue to follow you. They'll continue to watch you. They're going to continue to like your stuff. So they are interested, but they're just saying no because it's, it's come more comfortable for them to say no than it is to like get to know K N O W what it is that you're doing. Um, so how you can help with that is just keep showing up every single day. Keep showing them on your stories. Keep showing up on your posts. And eventually they will get to know what it is that you're doing and they'll be more likely to say yes. But it starts with that invite. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the next couple of minutes. I want you to think of, I know this says the 10 easiest and the 10 best. So if you're a brand new coach, you've never done this before, you should have a list of people. Your coach should have made you write like a list of 100 people that you're going to invite. You should have that list in front of you. If you're not brand new and you've been around for a bit and you're just looking for a jump start in your business, you are going to go to whatever way that you track your business, whether it's with pen and paper, Streak, Asana, whatever you're using, or just... If you don't have a tracking system and you have a Facebook, just go to your Facebook friends list for now, or just even think of like three to five people that you want to help, three to five people that maybe you talk to on a regular basis. That could be mom, dad, cousins, aunts, uncles, best friends, coworkers, anyone, someone that you want to offer an opportunity to be in our, be a part of our team or be a part of our community and start getting healthier together. Um, now when you're just getting started, you should have like your, your 10 easiest are your friends, your family, your coworkers, like people that you talk to regularly. And then your 10 best are those people that when you think of like dream team coaches, like, dude, I need you on my team. Like you're going to be, you're amazing. Like, I'd love to work with you. Like that kind of person. Those are your 10 best. Those are the people that you'd be so pissed if somebody else invited them before you did. Those are the people that you're going to put on your 10 best list. And you're going to eventually invite all 20 of these people, but we don't have time to do that on this call. Um, so what I would like for you to do now is we're just going to each invite three people. We're going to think of those three people. Hopefully we have them in mind already. And we're going to send them an invite. So you can start kind of thinking about that now. And I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to invite um, people because invites – Honestly, there are lots of scripts, but your best script is just yourself, <laughs> like using your, your language, using your passion, your excitement. That's your best script ever, ever written, hands down. Um, but these are just some examples here to kind of get the gears going of like how to invite these people. So obviously, if you're inviting someone like your sister or like your mom or your cousin or someone you talk to regularly, your invite to that person is going to look very different than someone who like you talk to occasionally or someone you don't know. Um, so what I like to think about is like, for example, I'm going to this like music festival with my sister in like two weeks, I think. And she texted me about it and was like, Oh my God, you have to come to this. We're going to go. You're going like that. That's literally how she messaged me. Oh my God. Like Cardi B is going to be in Atlanta. You have to come. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm down. I'm coming. Like that's just how, how she invited me. And I think about it the same way. Like you're excited about this. You're excited about this community. It's just the same as if like, you know, Beyonce was performing down the street. I'd be like, Oh my God, we all need to go now. Like you have to come with me. It's going to be amazing. Like that's how you want to invite your best friends. However you would talk to them, however you would communicate the kind of lingo that you guys maybe have with each other. Um, that's you to invite them using your excitement. Make sure it's not like a novel. Make sure it's not a book. Make sure it's just very like short and sweet, but it is you and it's something that you would say. Um, and then something else I want to show you to help with invites too. This is something that you can also look through at your own time. These, this proven script that kind of walks you through the process of like, okay, once I invite someone and, and what's the next step, step two, step three. Um, but this is a way that you can create an invite if you're really feeling stuck and you don't know what to say. Um, and this has five parts to it. So obviously the reach out first, like, Hey, what's your schedule like this week? Or Hey, or if it, if they are liking your post or something, you could say, thank you for liking my post or thank you for viewing my story. Just like an opener to the message. So it's not just like, Hey, do you want to do this thing? Like if it's especially if it's not someone that like you talk to a lot. Um, but my sister, I wouldn't have to do that first part. I just like, Hey, you're, you're doing this with me. Okay. You know, it just depends on who you're talking to. 
Um, so that's the first part, the opener. Then you want to explain a little bit about what you're doing. So here's this thing I'm involved with. Um, an example of that would be, you know, I don't know, I don't know if this is for you. I'd love to share more information with you about this boot camp that I'm doing. Um, part three is the connection piece, like why I thought of you, why I think you would enjoy it, why it would be fun to have you, kind of creating that connection between you and the other person. Ask is part four. If I sent you info, would you be willing to take a peek? You always want your invite to have a question. Otherwise, there's it doesn't warrant a response. Like you could, if you're inviting someone to something but you don't ask a question, they can just look at it and be like, well, there's nothing that I really need to say because there was nothing really being asked. So you always want to make sure you're actually asking them something um, and not just telling them that you have this boot camp and then not asking them if they want to be a part of it. And then at the end, you can take the pressure off. It really makes it easier for them to either say yes or no and, not, and feel comfortable saying no and not feel bad about it because you'd rather them say no than not anything because then you don't know if they don't say anything. And then you follow up and then you follow up and you have to keep following up with them. So it's better to get a no than to get an ignore. So let, letting them know that, you know, if not, that's fine. Would love to hear back either way is something that I like to say. That way they'll either, they'll say yes or no. Um, so this is something you can use as well like if you're trying to craft your invites. So we're gonna invite three people each. If you haven't already, um, do that. And if you have, then you can just hang out for the next couple of minutes. I'm gonna invite three as well. While we're waiting, if you have specific questions about invites while we're also sitting here doing them, um, be a good time to ask those. I was just looking for mine. I had it saved in my phone. <laughs> and that's another tip too. If you want to save your invite into your phone, into your notes, or you can even make it like a text replacement if it's something that you are copying and pasting and then just like personalizing it, that'll just make it easier for you, especially if you're short on time with everything. All right, so we'll do those invites. Three people, and once you have, just comment in the chat so we know um, that you have done that. Hmm. Katie's done. I'll keep it open so I have to keep opening it. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions about invites while we're here? Like anything specific? If not, it's fine. I just, if you do though, you can ask. That's how you learn, asking questions. I asked like a million and I learned a lot, so. <laughs> I already did mine today, so I'm struggling with finding new people because I already invited all the people that watched my story, but I will find some. Oh, here's one. What do you mean? What if you don't have a warm market? Everyone has a warm market. Everyone knows people before they start. That's your warm market. If you don't know a single soul in the world, then you don't have a warm market, <laughs> but that's impossible. Natalie's done. If you're trying to talk, you're muted though. Randy. A warm market doesn't necessarily mean family. It doesn't necessarily mean like relatives. Warm market just means like people you already know. So like all your friends on Facebook that you currently have, that's your warm market. Like people that already know you, people that you already know, 
Um, I mean, for me, people like Natalie would be cold market to me because like I didn't know her before coaching. But people like um, Carolyn Walker would be warm market because I knew her before I was a coach. So it's like if you know them and like they know you, then that's your warm market. The people that you're already connected with, people you are not connected with, people you don't know um, at all, that's your cold market. Warm market doesn't necessarily just mean family, just so you know. All right, we got one done, two done. Okay. All right. So if you are finishing up a couple of those invites still, that's fine. Um, let me just finish sending this last one here. But you've invited every single person on your Facebook list. You got to grow your market. All right. Well, we'll work on that. And just because you've invited them once doesn't mean that you don't invite them again, you know. Because most of my best coaches I've had to invite multiple times. Like this one girl that's signing up tomorrow, I've talked to her for a solid year, and now she's signing up. So definitely is not always going to be yes on the first try. Yeah. Yeah. And those of you um, who have been posting, maybe you've already been posting already, I'm gonna talk about that in a minute, but you can get invites from there too. And especially when you do your curiosity post, you're gonna get people that comment on that, you're gonna get people that like that, you're gonna get people that um, respond to that. You, what you're going to do with that, you're going to go and you're going to thank them. First off, first and foremost, thank them for liking and supporting your, your post. And then you're going to invite them to see if they're interested in learning more. Those, that's a very simple way to get a lot of like invites that maybe you didn't think of, but like, Oh wow, they like my post. That was cool. Let me connect with them and thank them. Um, and then you can invite them as well. So we should all be pretty much done with our invites by now. And if not, just keep doing that. But also um, listen here so that you don't miss anything. So the next thing I want to talk about is a like the inviting kind of conversation process. You know, you sent out some invites. Obviously, people are going to respond. And you don't want to not know what to do then. You know, you have to know what comes next. And that's what this is. So. Part one of this five-step process we just did. We just invited people. However, there's kind of a second piece to this part one, and that is when you start getting in with like your cold market or people you don't know. So in that part, you are building relationships. You need to find prospects and start conversations with them. You need to be genuinely interested in them and getting to know them. Um, this also can include maybe people you know that you just haven't talked to for a while. Like you don't want to just message someone you haven't spoken to in four years and say, Hey, you should do this with me. Like that's kind of not going to work. So you need to reestablish that relationship with them. Shoot the shit, whatever you want to say, <laughs> chit chat back and forth. Um, go to their Facebook. Maybe you saw they were just on a vacation, ask them how their vacation went. Oh my gosh, I haven't talked to you in forever. I just saw you were on vacation, um, with your girls in Disney, how would, how did, how was your trip? Did you have an awesome time? You know, I'm actually thinking about taking my kids there. Like start a regular conversation with these people before you go in for that invite. You know, sometimes you want to go in for the invite, but if you haven't talked to them in a long time, you're going to have more success being a genuine person and then inviting them than just like inviting them. But if they like your stuff, if they're viewing your story, then you can just go for the invite. And that's where, that's where it kind of differs. So if you are starting the conversation with someone and they have not liked your post or taken any interest in what you're doing, it's best to build that relationship unless it's someone you know already and that you talk to regularly. And by regularly, I mean like, you know, a couple times a week or daily, um, not just every once in a blue moon. But if they are looking at your stuff and the way that I like to rationalize this, if I owned a store, if I own like a boutique, and somebody walked in my store and I didn't know them and I just ignored them and they looked around and then they walked out and I didn't even say anything to them, that would be rude. So if they're looking at my story 
and I am seeing that they're looking at my story, I'm going to message them and first of all, thank them like, hey, thank you for checking out my story. I hope that you got some value out of it today. And then I'm also going to let them know I have a boot camp, and if they would like to be a part of it, I would love to share some information with them. It's the same as if they walked in my store and I was like, hey, you know, uh, welcome to the store. It's nice to see you. I just want to let you know everything over there on that rack is 20% off this week. So if you want to check that out, you know, they would they would be happy that I said that. Like I don't get mad at people when they well, when they say hi, you know, welcome to. Victoria's Secret, like, I, I think that's nice. Like, they should greet you when you walk in the store. So it's kind of the same thing with your story. You know, you're thanking them. I usually say, I hope you got some value out of what I'm sharing. Also, I didn't know if you saw, but I, I just opened enrollment for my boot camp for September. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I don't know if you had any goals you're working on, but if so, I'd love to get you some info. Very chill, very simple. Don't overthink it. That's, like, an easy way to start inviting people who are viewing your stuff. Um, so either once you once you've built that relationship and then you've invited them, or maybe once you have um, invited them because they've been taking an interest in what you're doing, the next step is understanding the problem, understanding how you can help them. This is where you get to know more about their goals. So as far as um, how you want to do this, that's completely up to you. You can ask them questions. You can create a form and send them a form and they can fill it out with their goals, whatever you want to do. This is like completely up to you how you want to structure this, but you do need to find out more about them and their goals because it's really hard to say that, oh yeah, this would be great for you when you don't know like what it is that they want to work on and what their goals are. So you really need to take a little bit of time to learn about their goals. Um, so when you're asking them if they have like more information, you can send them something like super generic about it and then ask them again. Um, uh, would you be willing to answer some questions so I can get to learn more about your goals so I can see if it's a good fit for you? And that'll lead you into the kind of interviewing process of figuring out if you can actually help this person. You know, maybe they tell you they have a wedding coming up, you know, they'd like to lose 30 pounds, their wedding is in like a year from now. Um, maybe they are a mom and they're just struggling with getting their workouts done because they have a newborn and they have no energy. Like these are things that people are going to be telling you that you want to be listening because you like the best coaches are, the, are, the, are really good listeners. Um, the, the less you say, the better, let them say it, like let them tell you what it is they're struggling with and ask the right questions to get that information from them. So you can figure out how to help them. And once you know what would be the best solution for them, then you're going to be able to offer that solution. So step three, we kind of just talked about, can you help them honestly figure out, you know, what would be best for them? If you don't know and you're confused, go to the team page and say, hey, you know, I've got this prospect I'm talking to. She's a mom. You know, she's struggling with having time to work out. She just had a newborn. Um, anyone have any suggestions of what program I should suggest for her? We have people ask those things all the time in the team page. Utilize each other. That's what we're there for. We're here to help each other out. So if you're not sure, ask. Um, but once you figure that out, this is where you're going to start sharing those third party tools. This is where you're going to be doing things like, you know, Hey, well, if I were to send you a short video that shows you what this program looks like, would you be willing to check it out? Maybe this is where you'll send them, um, the video for morning meltdown and have them watch it and see if it would be something that they would be interested in. Maybe if it's something, someone that's like a little bit more, um, like, they're short on time and they only have a couple of days a week that they can work out. And the program that you have in mind for them is lift four because it's four days a week and it's lifting and they're working on building muscle. You might send them that video. Like it really just depends on your conversations. If you're talking to someone and they're really super struggling hardcore with nutrition, you might be sharing something more like ultimate portion fix with them, or you might be sharing something like to be mindset with them. Um, this is where it really is important that you get to know your prospect. The more you get to know them, the better, this, pr this process is going to go. And yeah, sometimes you'll get to know them and you'll spend that time and they still won't be in because they'll say, oh, I don't have money and that happens. But at least the next time you talk to them, all of this is already done. All of this work is done. So all of the work you're doing, it's either going to help you help this person now or it's going to help you help them four months from now when they're ready. But they, they already know you care enough about them to get to know about their goals. You care enough about them to take the time to suggest something to them that they actually need that's going to help them. And I've done, I've done this for five years. I know how this works. You have these really intimate conversations with people and they'll tell you that they don't have money. But six months later, they'll say, I'm ready now. 
and it's the easiest sign up you ever had in your life. And it's only because you did the hard work six months ago. If you don't do that, then you're not going to have those times where people are like, I'm ready. Sign me up. Sign me up with the challenge pack. I'm ready. You're like you're, you're going to have that happen, but you have to have these conversations and you have to have the faith in yourself that, you know, these people eventually will come around and that comes when you continue to show up and you show up consistently in your business and in your um, fitness journey, they're going to see that. So don't let like people telling you no discourage you at all. Just know the work you're doing now is going to help you a month from now, three months from now, six months from now, a year from now. Like everything you're doing now is not just for the now. It's also going to help you in the future. Um, so once you've shared a third party tool or you've given them some sort of information, however you wish to do that, whether you choose to do email, whether you want to just send it in the message with them. Um, you know, if you're talking about coaching, maybe you're sharing a sneak peek with them. If we have a sneak peek going on or an old webinar recording, it just really depends on what it is that you're sharing with them right now. If you're brand new, it's probably going to be more towards like the accountability group piece, but there will be people that you invite to coaching that you're like, you would be amazing at coaching or you will have challengers that you're going to have that are going to be killing it in the challenge group that might be, you know, discount coaches, because I always suggest to offer the opportunity to sign up with the coach discount just because like it's nice to let people know they can save money. Um, and also funny story. I don't know if everyone knows this, but my first coach, the person I bought 21 day fix challenge pack from, she never told me, Hey, like you can be a coach and get a discount. So I didn't know that. And then somebody else told me that. And I was like, oh, sweet. And like, I signed up with somebody else. But like, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know like that that person could also have offered me that because she never said anything to me. So I ended up signing up with somebody else. And I'm sure my original coach is pretty butthurt that she didn't let me know about the business piece. Um, just saying. But definitely always offer that because you never know. Somebody might not know that they can. And then somebody else might offer that to them. And then you just lost someone that you could potentially have had on your team. Um, so once you've presented them the solution, you know, and you've shared the third party tool and you followed up with them after they have checked it out, they're either going to be a yes or a no. Um, they may have some objections. They may say they don't have money. They may say they don't have time. You know, they may, uh, and before I continue with objections, I just want to let you know, every objection you will ever get in your life always comes from fear. So yeah, they might say they don't have money, but it's usually a fear of the unknown. They have money. We know they have money. We see them going out and getting their nails done. We see them going out and getting tattoos and going to the bar and doing things. They have money. They just don't have the right mindset and they have a fear of doing things that they've never done before. It's, it's just weird. Humans are weird. So it's never has anything to do with you ever. Um, but they may give you an objection. They may not. They may be in. They may not be ready yet. Um, and also, if they're not ready yet, they will be eventually. It's not like they're going to never sign up with you. The only, the only way they never would sign up with you is if you decide you're not going to be a coach anymore. Um, and then let's say they come to your page and they're like, oh, shit, like I was ready today. She's not a coach anymore. So I guess I'll go find somebody else to sign up with. You don't want that to happen. You, oh, you don't want to do all the hard work for somebody else to sign them up. So don't ever quit on yourself, but they're either in or out. So if they're in, what you're going to do is you're going to set them up with share a cart. And if you have this document pulled up, if you click on this cart here, it will take you to a video that shows you how to use share a cart if you don't know. Um, and they might be a no for now, in which case you can send them a free ebook. If you click on this PDF, you'll get the one that I share with my, uh, my no for nows. I actually have a text replacement in my phone and I type no for now and it, type like populates the message and ask them if they want the free ebook and then I'll collect their email and send it to them. So that's something that you should get into a good practice of doing because then every conversation you have ends in a, on a positive note. You know, you're either helping them get signed up with you and your challenge group and they're going to become a coach and they're going to work with you or you're giving them a free resource that can help them get started right now and you're showing them that you care. So no conversation is ever wasted. You're always going to end up being able to help them in some way if they want it. Because some people will still not want the free resource. It happens. Surprisingly, people, some people just don't want it. And it's because they're probably not going to use it because they're not ready to actually make a change. So that's all on them. You can't change other people. You can only really change yourself and focus on yourself and become better for you. Um, but that is the process of how your conversations should go. Does that make sense? Yes. 
see some heads nodding. Okay, cool. Um, so something I want to go back to, I did show you this when I was talking about invites, but this is something that you can look through at your own time so that you feel comfortable moving from one part of the conversation to the other. It's basically what I just summarized for you, the five steps, but it's a broken down in a little bit more detail for you. So you can have this bookmarked on your, um, your, your computer, or you can save it to your phone, like home screen. And it has a link to third party tools. So third party tools are um, what I was talking about before about maybe sending a video or something that's already created. Third party tools could be a graphic. Basically the easiest way to understand what a third party tool is anything but you. Anything but you word vomiting essentially is a third party tool. So things that are already pre-created, we've got videos about coaching, we have videos about our fitness programs. If someone asks you for more information about Shakeology, I always send them a video because this video will do a better job explaining it than I can. I might share a little piece of my story, like you know how it's helped me not have to depend on coffee anymore and that um, it's helped me with my stomach issues. And I'll share a little bit of my story, but I'll always ask them if I sent them this video, would they check it out? Because it's gonna explain it way better than I can. And this always does the trick. So always, when you're, if you're in doubt and you're not sure what to say, Look at take give, take a look at this. When you're asking them what flavor they want, share this graphic. I always tell them, I'll send you a menu so you can pick. And they can look at them, they can see them all, and they can choose which one they want. So you're not like, okay, so the flavors are chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, cafe latte, or you can get the combo box, or you can get the triple combo box, or you can get vegan, or you can get like you don't want to <laughs> word bomb and all that stuff. Say, hey, I'll send you a menu. You can pick which one you want. Okay, cool. Let me know which one you want. So much easier when you do it that way. Um, and then there's also some stuff about the different like um, nutritional products and everything. And then there's a basic price presentation breakdown as well. So when you're sharing that price with them, you can kind of take this and insert the price, insert you know any additional items that come with it. And this is something that you can also use and save to your phone um, as well. So anything that you'll ever need to get someone to sign up or anything like that. And also that meal prep guide is in here too. If they say no for now, this is the one that I send them. So you have all of this. Bookmark this, save it to your computer, save it to your phone so that you have it. Um, and this just kind of also talks about follow-ups and how you want to make sure you're following up with people and not just inviting them and not following up with them. So rule of thumb is after you've invited them, follow up with them two days later and um, that's how I do it. That's how a lot of the coaches on this team do it. And I feel like it's just a good amount of time between the invite two days to check back in and make sure that um, you are following up with them. And then one more thing I do want to show you, I did not create this. So if there's any typos on it, it's not my fault. Um, this is not my, my verbiage. It's not my, my words at all. But this is something that has been shared in the round table. And I think it's also handy to have for if you are starting a conversation with someone, if they're con like reaching out to you. So if they're like asking about something on your post or whatever, this is a great um, breakdown to follow. And it's kind of like one of those quizzes that you would get in the Cosmo magazine where it's like, yes, no, like I go here, yes, no. Like what is, what is your ice cream flavor or whatever? You know, it's one of those kind of things where you follow the lines, yes, no. Um, it's great though, if you go down to the bottom, because it has some scripts for explanations as well. So we have third party tool videos, but maybe sometimes you do want to explain it. This I feel like would work a little better in an email because it's a little long. Um, but everything that you have here, you know, this is something you can take and customize and use what feels right to you. Um, there are also really great objection responses on this as well. It's on the last page about I'm too busy, I can't afford it, I'd rather work out at the gym. I don't want to drink my foods. I want to eat foods or, you know, and then also this feel felt found approach, which is something that we do use. So this is something you can take a look at as well. Um, it's just always good to have, but with the objections that feel felt found method is something that we've been doing for years. And basically what that means is if someone's giving you an objection, like I don't have, I don't have time to do your boot camp or whatever. Um, something that you can utilize is the feel felt found. And what that means is you're feel like, Oh, I, I totally feel where you're coming from. I felt the same exact way too. When I started, I was working full time as a teacher. I was in grad school. I had a three hour commute every day. 
But what I found was having these workouts that I could just push play first thing in the morning before I even went to work was the best thing ever for me. It saved me time of having to go to the gym and I got better results than I was getting at the gym in my house. If I were to share this with you, would you be willing to at least check it out? Or would you, knowing that, just would you be willing to at least give this a try? Like that is the easiest way to handle any objection you have. I feel you, I felt that way too. Share your story, what I found was blah, blah, blah. And then ending it with knowing that, would you be willing to give this a shot? Or knowing that, can you see how this can be helpful for you? Or just asking them a question again so that they will respond back. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you that. We do have that available as well. It's in the team page. And it's also in my Start Strong group if you're in there. Okay, so how we feel now? I promise I'll be done in like 10 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna try. Um, I'm gonna go over some goals that you should have as a brand new coach your first 30 days. And um, something that I did promise you is I have a checklist, I do. I have this checklist for you. It's your first 30 day action plan. And it's going to show you some of the things that you should be completing in your first 30 days. I have a link to the tracker, which all of you should have seen by now. If you haven't yet, here you go. <laughs> this is your to-do list every day. You'll see this in the team page on Thursdays. We collect them. And everyone uses this. Every coach uses this, whether they are brand new or they've been around the block for five years. I use this. I know that Natalie uses this. I see her on this call, so I'm calling her out. Um, we all use this. So that should tell you something. <laughs> you should be using it too. And this also is great because you can customize this. It says invite blank people. You know, if you've got really big goals, you might invite 10 people a day or 20 people a day. If you want to just get yourself comfortable with doing this, you might invite at least five a day. You know, but if you're inviting five a day, think about it. You invite five people a day and you do that seven days a week. That's 35 people that you invited in a week. That's, that's a lot, you know, if you're just getting started. If you invite 10 people a day, that's 70 people you invited in a week. So it really just depends on what your goals are and how fast you want to build this business. Um, and just know also this doesn't need to be perfect. This doesn't mean that this, every box on this chart needs to be checked off every single day. And if it's not like you're, you're terrible, that's not true. I have some days where I miss a couple boxes too, but I make sure the next day that I make up for that. So that's what's great about this. You know, there's seven days a week. As long as you're giving your full effort at least five of those days, then I say that you're doing a pretty damn good job. So this is something you can print out. You can laminate one and just save some trees and do it that way. Or you can print it out each week and um, you know fill out your why and all that stuff and check off as you go along. But it's a really good indicator. It's a great way to not, um, you don't wanna place, this is what I'm trying to say. You don't wanna place your value on this. But this is a great way for you to evaluate your business. Because if you are struggling with hitting success club, you can just come to your tracker and look and see, oh shit, I didn't invite anyone. That's why. You know, like I only invited five people last week. That's why I'm not in success club. It really helps you figure out why you're like, if you're struggling, go back to your, to your tracker. What you track is going to show where you need to focus. You know, if you are really like taking everything personally and your conversations are going really bad and everyone's saying no, did you do your personal development every day? You know, like things like that. It's going to help you figure out where you need to focus in your business. So it'll help you evaluate your business and not, not your value as a coach. It's not your value or worth as a coach, but it will help evaluate your business. Um, so this is something that you'll have access to at the end. It's going to give you like, you know, go live, make your posts, continue to invite. It's going to give you step by step of what you should be doing over the next 30 days. So this is something you can print out if you like checking things off as well. So those goals are as follows. Help three people essentially, <laughs> but they are broken down into a couple like little pieces here. So number one, become an Emerald coach. It's you plus two people. You plus two friends, two family members, a friend and a family member, like two people that wanna join you. Everyone knows two people. 
to join you in your challenge group, to join you on your fitness journey, to support your business. Maybe you just like, Hey mom, you know, like I started this business. Um, I really love your support. Can you be a guinea pig for me and test out the shake for 30 days and just let and give me a testimonial. So I have something to share. Like it, there's just a million different ways that you can do this, but all of you know, two people, um, you can't, you can't go through your whole life not knowing at least two people. Like the average wedding has, I think like a hundred and however many people at it. So we all know, we all know quite a few people. So the reason why this is important is not just because like we're telling you to do it. I mean, not, I mean, you should, and there's another thing. If your coach tells you to do something, there's a reason why you should, you should just do it. Like you shouldn't question it. Like, Oh, well, why, why are we talking about diamond? Because you have goals and like you want to achieve those goals. Okay. How do you get there? Get to diamond. Like if your coach tells you something, they're telling you, because the, what they're telling you is going to help you move forward in your business. It's going to help you succeed. So if they tell you to go invite however many people, you should do it probably. You know, if they tell you to speak on your story more often, you should do it. Really take the advice that your coaches are telling you because they're telling you because they know and they've been there and they've learned from mistakes that they've made and they want to see you succeed and not make the same ones. Um, so get to Emerald ASAP. I hit Emerald in my first month, probably in my first week, I want to say, I didn't even want to do this business. And I did it. I had no intentions of building this business. I wanted to do this for myself. I wanted to get a discount on my shakes. And I was really freaking excited about it. And my excitement was enough to get two people to want to join me. That's how I hit Emerald. Um, wasn't my mom, wasn't my boyfriend, wasn't anyone like that. It was two people from college that I just kind of randomly knew. And they wanted to do it with me. And I signed them up as coaches to save money because college, you know, <laughs> we, all, we all want to save money. And that's how I hit Emerald. Now you want to do it ASAP because the sooner you hit Emerald, the sooner you give yourself permission to earn more income. So right now as a coach, you are only eligible to earn income from commission. So that means the only money you're going to make is you sign somebody up, you make commission. You sign another person up, you make commission. That's all you're able to earn as a coach, commission. You cannot build a business based on commission. You cannot retire from your job. You cannot buy a house on the lake. You cannot pay for your wedding just selling things and earning commission. That's like, I'm just telling you right now, you have to build a team if you have these big goals. Um, so getting to Emerald unlocks another earning, another earning opportunity for you that we call team cycle bonus. So basically what that means is as our team grows, you know, we're adding coaches, we're helping people, we're changing lives, we're creating volume as a team. As an Emerald coach, you are, are granted a piece of that volume. As a coach, you don't get any of it. So in order to get a piece of the pie, you have to be an Emerald coach. And it's going to continue to collect over time. And that is how you're going to start making the big bucks in this business. Collecting volume, growing a team. But in order to even have that opportunity, you have to be an Emerald coach. And if you are not Emerald and you've been sitting around for a while, just think of all the pie you've missed out on. <laughs> all that volume you've missed out on every week. Oh, you're not Emerald, no pie for you. Oh, you're not Emerald, no pie for you. Like you're not getting it. I don't know why I'm using pie, maybe because like the fall is coming up. But like you're, you're not getting it every week if you're not Emerald. It just kind of skips over you and goes to the next person. So don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself. Get your butt to Emerald, find a way, and start collecting that volume. Because you're working hard, you're part of this team, you're, you're adding volume to the team volume, and then you're not getting any of it, that's kind of silly. So make sure you get there. You also get free leads from Beachbody. So though, like people who sign up on the website, they get assigned a coach, you get to be their coach, you get commission when they order things, it's really freaking cool. Um, so that's another thing that you get to benefit from as an Emerald coach. Now, second thing, you want to be a success starter month one. That means that you help three people get signed up with a challenge pack. And when you do that three months in a row, it must be consecutive. It must be your first three months. You will get a free ticket to go to Summit in New Orleans with us for 2020. So if you just signed up in September, then you have September, October, November to be a success starter. If you signed up in August, you also have September, October, November to be a success starter. So either way, September is important for you if you're brand new, um, because you're like if you sign up in August, your first full month is September, so that'll count for your first month for success starters. So help three people with a challenge pack, 
hit success club, help three people with the challenge pack the next month, hit success club again, help three people the following month, hit success club again, you are guaranteed a free ticket to Summit. Summit's amazing, you don't wanna miss it. So if you are somebody who likes to travel, you like to work out live with Sean T and Jericho and just like basically be at the VMAs of fitness, then you're gonna wanna be there and just get to hang out with your team, it's fun. Um, so being a success starter is a great way to launch your business, create momentum for you and get to go to Summit, which is hands down like one of the most fun things ever. And then get into profit mode. So don't just make back the money you spent. Don't just make back your 160. Get into profit mode. Helping three people will do that for you because each person that you sign up, depending on what they order, you're going to make that commission um, off of their order. So if you help more people, you help, let's say you help five people, then hell, like you're going to make a profit on top of what you paid. And here's something really cool. I don't know how many people know this. If you sign up five coaches in one month, you get an extra $100 bonus. So if you're kind of like, oh, I don't know if I should invite them to be a coach. Maybe they're not really into being a coach. Like, but I don't want to share the discount coach opportunity. If you like can get five people in one month to sign up, whether they're coaching or they're not, whether they're discount coaches or they're business building coaches, five coaches in one month, you're going to get an extra hundred dollar bonus. That's like a car insurance payment, a hundred dollars, maybe depending on where you live. But like that can make a big difference. If you get an extra hundred dollars every single month because you sign up five coaches every month, like how could that change your life? That's life changing, an extra hundred bucks a month. You know, that's a phone bill, kind of. <laughs> it depends. You know, it, 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 could, it could pay for something. It could pay for groceries. It could be date night. That could be your fun money. That could be you getting your hair done. Or for, if you live in Florida, maybe half your head. But it, it's something. It's going, to, it's going to have an impact in your life. So all of these things can be achieved. Emerald success started your month one and profit mode by helping three people with a challenge pack. Totally doable, right? Everyone here can help three people. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. I mean, I did in my first month. And like I said, I didn't want to even do this. And I've never missed a month of success club. I've been a coach. I don't know. However many months I've been a coach. 62. I've hit success club every single month. Never missed. Even if I, even though I didn't even want to do it in the beginning. So if I had like, zero desire to build this business and you're coming into this really wanting to build this business, you should have no problem helping three people every single month. You know, you have all the tools. The only thing that could potentially make you not help three people a month is if you don't do the work. That's the only thing. If you either don't do the work or you don't do it consistently enough, that's the only thing that's going to make you not hit success club. If you give up on yourself and if you just don't show up consistently and do what you are given to do. Um, but that's all that I have for you. I'm so I'm sweating now. I have a sweatshirt on. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> but does anyone have any questions? It's 7.59. I did good this time. Let me go over. Nope, we're good. Was that helpful? You feel more confident now talking to people and Helping people and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm just glad that we still have power and we could actually have this call tonight. So I'm grateful for that. Um, let me check the chat real quick. So let's see. Yes. Okay, very good tips. Oh, yeah, Emerald's not hard. Y'all can do that. All right, cool. No questions. If you think of anything, though, afterwards, you can always reach out to me or your coach or anyone on the team. We're all here to help you. Um, but thank you for being here. I appreciate your time. And I will see you guys next week on the team call. We're going to be doing another networking call like we did um, a couple weeks ago because that was really fun. And that'll be great for you because you need to grow your network <laughs> to have more people to invite. So make sure that you're on that call. Um, and yeah. Go hit Emerald and help all the people, <laughs> all right? Bye.